So you started off as a merch guy, mm-hmm. and then, or well, backtrack on that. You moved to Nashville, obviously, yeah. And then you had to get your foot in the door. I'm assuming, yeah. And so you're like, I'll just be a merch guy. I wish it was as easy as that. Okay, oh, God, that'd be so cool if it was. <laughs> Jeez, um, I did some really, you know, crappy jobs. Yeah, you know, having to, uh, you know, wash cars at Audi. You know, not Audi, not bad car company. Um, right. I, I worked at the Audi dealership, and I did that specifically because I knew that there was country singers and music executives that would work there or go there, drop their car off, and I knew if I worked there. I didn't want to be the guy that would go up to him and be like, oh my God, like, hey, my name is Roman Alexander. I'm an aspiring yeah. artist, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, nobody yeah. wants that. I know I wouldn't. So I thought it'd be more clever if I stole business cards out of their cars. So um, I'm not going to say uh, Dirk Spintley was one of them, but uh, it, it was. Uh, <laughs> and awesome. then there was a, a guy from a record label. Um, I won't name him, but he, he had a business card. I took a picture of it. Um, and that's what I got really good at, taking pictures rather than taking the business card. Yeah. And uh, I made a fake email and emailed him and he figured out it was me. And so he was like, how about you just come down and just meet with me? And he shot me straight. He's like, you're not good enough right now. You need to write more songs. You don't know how any of this works, you know? And that was kind of the dose I needed. So I tried to figure out ways I could get in. Um, my buddy is in management with a country artist named Justin Moore. Um, and so yep. at the time he was his merch guy. And so he kind of moved up the ladder. But at the time when he was doing merch, he was like, Hey man, there's a, a group named Shenandoah that needs uh, a merch guy. Would you want to come out and be a merch guy? I'm like, for Shenandoah, that's one of my favorite 90s country bands. Of course mm-hmm. I would come out and be a merch guy for Shenandoah. Started that way, and then it kind of elevated into, um, you know, a few weeks on the road, turning a few months on the road. I bounced between Jody Messina, Shenandoah, and then um, Easton Corbin. And then I kind of segued into Easton Corbin, and that's where I... Uh, Ended up being with him for two years, um, and wow. in that time, I was writing songs and trying to find time to go to the studio. And anytime, any chance I could try to make a contact or write, I would. Um, and I figured out that maybe building a social media presence would be the perfect way to do that. So I kind of started that on the side as a side hustle until it kind of became a full time thing, where I was able to get a publishing deal out of it and get out of the merch stand.